this is Wanda. How is everyone? Welcome to my channel. I'm a few minutes early, just wanted to make sure if there was any, you know, glitchy stuff going on that we could iron that out. Everything is acting so bizarre lately. Just totally, totally wonky. I hope I can get, uh, oh my gosh. I hope I can get um, comments here. Hold on. <laughs> Give me just a couple minutes, guys. Hey there, I see a comment, yay. Okay, looks good. So we're gonna be doing mermaid. Look at that lovely ring light glare. <laughs> I have like two filters on my ring light and still don't know how to get rid of that, but it won't be there long. Anyways, I'm going to wait for some more people to come on, but while... Hi, Lori. Hi, Jen. Thanks, ladies. If you guys don't know, Lori Derda and Jen W. are the moderators for the chat. Thank you so much. And Katie may pop in, too. Hi, Joyce. She's also a moderator, admin. I have no idea what that says. Anybody speak Mandarin or Chinese? Look at, but anyways, isn't it cute? <laughs> I don't know. I got new pens today. Same pens, just new, new uh, little characters. They're so cute. My whale pen finally ran out. The one I've been working with forever. So I'm going to be using a new pen tonight, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. I don't even know if I'm going to need a pen. But I believe it's a .38 so if we need any fine details, there will be the pen. So my mermaid will be actually going on this side, like so. I wanted to see if I could get off some of these rusty spots here. Hi, Teresa and Teresa. Hello. All right, so this is our microblade cutting tool. And I do have refills for this now, so if you guys, I don't I don't even know if I put them in the store. I think I did. Anyways, these just pop right off the tip there. And if you guys don't like what's inside, you can just dump those out. Those little weird they're like plastic glitters. They're not even real, but anyways, you can put whatever you want in there. Or use them for some kind of craft. This one does, they do come out. Anyways, just thought I'd show you how to refill your blade. Be so careful, you guys. It's so sharp. I cut myself earlier. <laughs> Anyways, uh, just slide the housing right back on there. Twist tight. Now, I'm using the blade to remove these rust spots so that they don't show through or interfere with my work tonight I don't think my yeah I didn't have my flash I don't know why I wonder if it will let me enable flash there we go maybe that'll help hi Ann I know isn't it perfect it just kind of worked out <laughs> so I'm going to be adding some color to the tattoo I was thinking about this a while back. I'm I'm contemplating putting a tattoo kit in my Etsy shop, which will include, you know, a tattoo and some sort of color. And then basically you put the tattoo on your rock and then paint it. How fun is that, right? I just have to figure out how to do micro color. <laughs> so, like in small. <laughs> All right, so to put the tattoo on my rock, I'm going to prep it just a little bit so that I know um, it's really on there well. So I'm going to just wet my rock 
just clear water. I want to make sure it's nice and clean. Let me get that wet. Don't want it sopping wet, but damp. And then I'm going to take some Liquitex Matte Medium. You can use Mod Podge. Um, you know, some sort of base. Medium. Acrylic medium. It doesn't have to be acrylic, I guess. It could be Elmer's glue, whatnot. Just something that you could use, like a decoupage glue, sort of. We're just making a binded surface, you know, putting a binder on to help the tattoo. Okay, now rinse your brush really well. Hi, Allison. Hello. Now, remember on your tattoos, I have trimmed around this. Remember, there is a film. You do want to remove that, but not until you're ready to put your tattoo on, because the tattoo actually is sticky. So, don't touch your tattoo. Hello, Colleen. So, I'm basically going to line it up best I can here, so that it will all fit. On this lovely Shelly rock and those are um, oh her Etsy name is I believe stones by Shelly um, and she has a store on Etsy now for her Santorini's and the other rocks that she carries so if you're interested in these beauties head over there and show her some love So I am taking my brush, the same one I put the Mod Podge or Liquitex Medium on there um, with and just using it really wet and applying my tattoo here. I have a bubble here which is, uh, you can't lift after you've laid it down so we're going to see how this goes. It warped after I... Got it wet. So I might be able to straighten it out once it's nice and slippery. So don't try to reposition your stuff before it's wet. Otherwise, you'll tear your tattoo. Okay. Hi, Bonita and Betty. Hi everyone. So you just want to give it some time to activate the gum that's on the tattoo so that it will release. I'm just kind of helping these edges a bit. And definitely not ready. <laughs> It looks like we're going to just about be ready to move it. And this is a quite a large tattoo, so you have to be careful not to tear like these little areas, you know, where the tail, the thin parts, they love to just move and tear. And... All right. So usually I slide my tattoo off, but it's a big one, so I'm going to kind of peel and then pull pull it back down with my brush because it wants to move. Ah, see, the tail did move. All right, so it's not lost. It is misshapen, but... Just make sure you have a lot of water. Maybe we can fix it. Or maybe not. <laughs> oh. I think we lost it, guys. Darn. Yep, once it does it. Well, that did not go well. Sorry. <laughs> 
Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to sever. We're going to get rid of the tail. And I'm going to attempt to draw one and paint one. Oh my gosh. Micro cutting tool. Ah, scary. <laughs> See, you just work with what you got, right? That's okay. Right, so let me even that out. Okay. Should have taken a picture of the tattoo before I messed it up, huh? Now I gotta kind of try to remember what it looks like, and I don't. Not even a little bit. So you want to kind of get the water out from under it by pulling the bubbles. Okay. And... You see here. Okay, drawing is not my strong suit, but I gotta have a little bit of something to go by. If I can find my pencil. Okay. <laughs> ah, smart, Allison. <laughs> That's totally smart. Okay, so we got. Do I have any lead? Of course I don't. <laughs> oh, pencil, pencil. Oh, guys, hang on just a second. I gotta grab a pencil. Sorry. Okay. So we'll go this way. Oops, no, that's terrible. <laughs> Looking for my eraser. Hi, Shay. Yeah, I don't know. Looking for a mermaid sticker so I can see what a tail looks like. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I got 500 little ones. No, no big ones. Oh, I gotta get my other eraser. This is terrible. I don't know where my new one is that Miss Lori sent me. Boy, what a terrible out the door 
thing, right? <laughs> he broke the tail off the mermaid. That's okay. That's what I'm about. Good, bad, and the ugly. So, my pencil's ruining the rock. That's okay, because we have this lovely tool. Okay, so tonight's going to be about how to not destroy your painting. <laughs> you know, that's not a bad idea. I could grab my laptop and see if I could find my picture on Facebook. <laughs> There we go. You know, it takes me 500 years to get anything right, so... All right, Facebook, here I come. <laughs> Please help me. All right, almost there, guys. Almost there, almost. <clears throat> Except for they wouldn't let me post it. That's right, <laughs> the event scheduler. Did you guys see the picture? I'll have to go into the event and see if I can find it. Yeah, they they aren't, uh, for some reason, they aren't posting my... Someone's at my door. They aren't posting my pictures when I make an event, the picture. Um, I don't have it in there now. I was contemplating it, but I didn't do many black, just plain black and white tattoos. When I say and white, they're just black. They don't have white in them. They're not. I know it looks like it does, but it's not. <laughs> There's no white in it. It's just black. All right. Let me see here. There's that. And I got the picture. Yay. Okay. So it goes... I wasn't too far off. This is so not what it looks like, but <laughs> this is m my weird interpretation of it. Goodness, I'm in trouble here, you guys. Can't even get an idea of what I'm doing. We're going to go with that. Okay. So we're going to do the painting first and then I'm going to draw in some of the details in a bit. Let me see if I can print this. 
Yeah, probably not. All right, then. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so the idea for tonight's event was to show you how to add color to a black and white tattoo so that you can do, you know, creative things with just a regular black and white tattoo if you wanted. You know, I may swap over here to the hummingbird. So I could do that on a smaller rock, more controlled. What do you think? Okay, I'm not gonna quit. Nope, nope, we're gonna we're gonna forge on. I'm not gonna do it. All right, I'm gonna use the shimmer shots. And these are liquid watercolor. And you just give them a shake. This is a new set. I'm gonna open my new packaging. They're sealed with shrink wrap and they have a crack top. They should open pretty easily. Just make sure they're shaken. Like so. So I think I want to do the background a little bit like, sorry if I'm missing. <laughs> Thanks, Lori. I'm all, don't give up. Thank you. No rock left behind, that's right. Hi, Lydia. Yay. Hi, Bambi. What a start, huh? <laughs> Don't tell my husband he shrink wrapped all these and or shrunk wrapped. How do you say that? Shrunk? Yeah, shrunk, shrink, shrunk. Yeah. But the ones that I was using was the um uh, what would you call that? Trial <laughs> set that I made. So some of the colors were just a bit different. And I don't want to use colors that are not the same as what's in the store. So I am going to show you exactly what you bought. Because you guys bought them all. <laughs> Thank you. But I will make more. These um, don't take as long as regular paint because there's no dry time. So... I will make more, I promise. Okay, they are all open. So I'm gonna do the background, the little bit of the aquamarine. And I got a present from a secret admirer from two. Lori and Katie, thank you so much. It's an early birthday gift. And I can't even remember what it's called, but it's 4E's Scientific. <laughs> it's one of those lab, you know, you find these in like, science labs and it stirs your stuff <laughs> it's so cool i know getting our vibrations going <laughs> did you bring your vibrator to the show tonight you guys <laughs> that is the question yay if you did <laughs> But look at that. Boom. Done. <laughs> I know, right? Want? That is available in my new Amazon storefront. Ta-da! If you guys didn't notice, in the description of this event, there's a link for my Amazon storefront. And that is where you can go and look at our approved supplies list. It is the stuff that we buy off Amazon. And there is... Um, another supply list in the group in the featured section that has other links like to my Etsy, to other stores, uh, Walmart links, um, other places like Solar Color Dust. Gosh, I'm trying to think of some other places, Ali Express, you know, places like that. But where we have got, you know, where we have purchased things, we try to add the links. Thank you, Lori. <laughs> Yeah, that, that thing is, I am so super stoked. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, what a perfect, perfect early birthday gift. That was pretty cool. So in the background here, I'm just trying to open these so I'm not fussing with them in a minute. 
I want to do some um, blue, like this one I named Aqu Aquamarine. I want to do some Aquamarines and blues and greens for the background water simile. Thanks, Betty! Yeah, I like this little tool. It's pretty fun. <laughs> My son hasn't discovered it yet, but I can only imagine he's going to be in here stirring the shimmer shots all the time. <laughs> so cool. Okay. So I'm just going to do a few drops. Now, you can also get your background wet with shimmer shot. Oh, you know, I got to move my computer because I got the water over here. Not, not, not a good thing. Okay. You can add water to your background and then drop the shimmer shots in the water. And do like an alcohol ink sort of thing. They're not going to be. I mean they might be as vivid as alcohol ink. Depending on how much. The strength you leave them you know. But these are kind of my alternative to alcohol ink. I'm just getting it wet. Now I'm going to drop some of the colors in there. Phyllis, these are the shimmer shots. My new, the new shimmer shots that I made. Um, there are a few left still in the shop, but they're singles. Um, the sets, I believe, are sold out. Um, I could have them back in stock very soon. I just have to catch up on the orders because with the sale going, you guys, I'm very have a lot. I have a lot of orders. <laughs> Thank you guys for that. All right, let me just get some water down here. All right, then I'm going to drop some aquamarine around in some places. Mm -hmm. Drop some water. <laughs> you know, I knew it was Monday, but it didn't feel like a Monday, you know, it just felt like an odd, I don't know, it didn't, I don't know what day it felt like, it didn't feel like the weekend, but it did not feel Monday-ish. Let's 
see here. And I'm going to drop some of the emerald green in there. That didn't sound good. After we stir it up. <laughs> They are staining, so wear gloves if you don't want the stains, because they will stain terribly. And they do have shimmer in them, lots of shimmer. You cannot see it on camera, though. It's really sad. Sorry, guys. Okay. Some water around there. Mm -hmm. Clean out a little here. Now the tattoo, because it has kind of a plasticky structure to it, you can clean a little bit off of the tattoo surface itself for a little while. These do have kind of a gel-like base, so they are different than normal um, watercolors and how they move. You can work with them a bit longer. I'm trying to remove this from inside the mermaid. Well, that didn't work. Okay. So, because I'm crazy different, I'm going to do... I'm try to get some skin tone going here. I'm going to use neons for. <laughs> and these are the neon shimmer shots from last time. I just let them dry in the pan here. Pretty much skin tone is all the colors mixed together. Isn't that funny?
just going to drop that color in there. And then I'll remove some of it for the highlight areas. So I'm just taking my brush and I have taken some of the, or most of the water out of it, you know, brushed it on paper, like that, I'm using a damp brush to draw out some of the color. I've lost my comments. Uh, Joyce, I mixed all of the colors. <laughs> um, with neon, it's kind of funny. You can just take yellow, orange, red, pink, and then a little blue, a little purple, a little green to change the hue. Depending on where you want it to go, you know what I mean? So you basically just go orange and then use your green, your purple, and your blue to change the hues. You're welcome. Cool part about tattoos is you don't really have to worry. You can put just one straight one color in there, you know, just all the way because they have all the shading and whatnot in it. They're pretty much grayscale start with. Okay. For my moon, I want to put a little yellow in there. That yellow 
is not reactivating. I'm guessing that is. The shimmer shots are less reactivatable than the neons. That was actually neon mixed with my just my shimmer binder. So it, it wasn't even anything that I sell. So anyways, this is just yellow. I'm going to water it down quite a bit. Can you guys see okay? See my Hershey's bar? <laughs> can you see that okay? <laughs> Let me see if I can get a better shot. Oh, how I wish you could see the shimmer. It's so pretty. And it just doesn't show up on camera. It's a bummer. What am I going to do down here? Lord, I think I'm going to have to foil. <laughs> I'm almost scared. We're just going to get some shadow going. And I know I said I would have the black in the shop, and I didn't do it yet, and I'm sorry. But this is the black shimmer shot. It's just not in there yet. You know, you always think you can do more than you can. Okay, for her tail, I'm going to grab some red and the magenta neon here. And these also need to be shaken, so um, make sure you shake those up as well if you have the neons. They don't separate as much as the others but and the neons are not shimmer they are just neon in a more gel liquid form so I'm going to use magenta mix it with the red shimmer shot sorry that's the orange that's the topaz where is my ruby where did it go oh it's over here If you want more of a true red, you can mix the topaz and the ruby together, the orange and the red. The ruby's more on a, it's a cool red, so it has blue tones to it.
you know me, I'm not normal, so I have to have a rainbow mermaid. <laughs> Sorry about the notifications. So I'm just dropping color in there. The idea is you want it to sort of look like a tattoo on skin. So, or that's what I'm going for here. So I'm leaving it a little bit patchy. Yes! <laughs> Aren't they yummy, Phyllis? The strawberry ice cream kisses. I, I had a bag of those on live one night. Oh, yeah, they're good. <laughs> Thank you, Shay. Add some of the topaz and the ruby magenta mix together here. Ooh, Katie, hey, friend, Miss Citrine, yellow Citrine, and I'm bringing it right into the color before it. These blend really, really easily. And I'm going to go the emerald. Rockin' KK! If you don't know, Rockin' KK is our Miss Katie Thompson. Thanks, Katie and Lori, for the, the shaker shaker. <laughs> Oops, is that... Oh, I have two emeralds. That's not good. That means I'm missing something. Who knows? And the aquamarine. Mm -hmm. You guys knew I had to go rainbow, right? <laughs> it has to be a rainbow mermaid. Man, I love these so much. They're just way easy to work with. I'm oh, sorry about that blur. <laughs> Rainbow all the way. I know, right, Katie? <laughs> we got the bzz, bzz in the high house. Is it loud? <laughs> Sapphire. So gorgeous. Mm. And I will be expanding on these colors. Like these are the basics. And then the 
first tertiary colors. Uh, I will be expanding and doing, you know, like um, some more colors, browns, magenta, violets, lighter blues, deeper blues, and whatnots. <laughs> We got purple. And if you are popping in later, <clears throat> Miss Katie, I tore off the last part of my mermaid's tail. <laughs> it was a disaster. And this purple, you guys, is like mega purple. It's like mega, mega color. So if you want just a sheer purple, you got to add lots of water, okay? This purple is like cray cray purple. And it will take over anything, so. to the blue you mix the blue and the purple together you get this really pretty ultramarine color not aquamarine but ultramarine which is the blue purple And it's okay if it looks like a mess down here. We're going to be foiling, so... I'm trying to get some texture. Right, what shall we do with the hair and the side fins? Yeah, you can bright yellow here. I get those little no -seum grass bugs in my, especially in this room. I don't know why they like to come in here, <laughs> but they crawl around. They're the ones that itch, you know, like the itch bugs. They are just irritating as all. It is that time of year. Usually those like to hang around Spanish moss, which we don't have much of right now.
Did I get um purple hair? <laughs> yeah. Love it. Let's do it. Oh gosh. Love, love, love. All right, so we'll do some purple with some blue in there. Let's see, we'll start dark around the roots. All right, so on the upper side of these waves, I'm going to remove some of the color to give it like a highlight maybe. And then darken up some All right, do that for the hair. Yay, purple hair. All right, we'll be using pens for actually for details.
What do you guys think? Thanks, Jen. It's not my favorite, but I'm I'm okay with it, I think. Still bumming that I ruined the tail. <laughs> I'm just putting some scales in here because even though I'm going to be putting foil I'd, I'd like it not to just be plain plain you know what I mean sketching is not my thing drawing is not my thing so be kind And these pens are in the store. They're those funny little character pens. I believe they're one or two dollars, but they're really cheap, but they're really awesome for fine details. <laughs> Thanks. Hi, Chris. <laughs> I'm just trying to fix the tail I tore off, so <laughs> I had to let that little piece dry right there because these pens are water reactive, so you don't want to take it through water or it will be a mess. So I'm also going to darken her eye here.
<clears throat> come back to that. Let's look at the foil I'm going to be using. Okay, so I've chose the discs, holographic discs, for the mermaid tail. And I'm going to do the shimmer. Oh, on the moon. Yep. And then the other holograph piece I have is just plain hollow. It's just clear with hollow. And I'm going to do her body with that. No bra. She's naked. <laughs> Sorry. It's art. See there, I think we're. It is PG 13. There were no nipples in there, so. Okay. <laughs> yes, let the girls be free. <laughs> Let's. <laughs> Why change a good thing? <laughs> <laughs> no worries Betty no worries it does it looks I think that uh, you know whoever created it was uh, okay Phyllis wants to know what the tape trick is to figure out the top and the bottom of foils let me grab my tape especially on these kinds of foils y'all these look the same on both sides, right? So you're like, which side do I use? If you don't have any tape, the curvature of the foil will usually tell you which side is the one to put on the rock. Can you see how it kind of has a natural curve to it? Like it, like if it wanted to curl, it would curl that way, right? If I turn it the other way, see how it's sort of just not? Anyways, that curl is the top you want it facing you but anyways the foil can you can find it out really fast just grab a piece of tape okay and your tape will tell you which side is it you just apply it to one side if it comes off clean and there's no foil on it that's not the side that goes on the rock put it on the other side if it tears off foil now the foils on your tape that's the side that goes on the rock does that make sense so foil side goes down. Generally it's the dull side, but on these it's very hard to tell which side is dull. But this is the shiny side and that's the dull side. Dull side goes on the rock. Now like with this foil, you would think everybody wants to put this side on the rock, but that's not the side that goes on the rock. The other side goes on the rock. I was going to do this. Isn't that pretty? I know you're like, just cover everything up and put that on there. Isn't that gorgeous? It is a new foil in the store. <laughs> I believe it's under fish scale. Oh, I think it's fish scale that I called it. <laughs> Jane. Yeah. All right. I need some gloves. We got to move the paint out of the way and get the foil stuff in the way. So let me gear up here, guys. Change gears. I had a disaster with the nail glue the other day. Was that Friday? Yeah, I am paying dearly for it. I have boo-boos everywhere. I'm allergic to it, so when it touches me, it's like awful. Just awful. Once you get the allergy, it just it's a nightmare to deal with if it touches you. 
If it doesn't, you're fine, you know, enjoy it, have fun, but you just got to be very diligent in keeping it off of you. Sorry, I got my candy bar all in the shot there. <laughs> you know me, got to have my chocolate while I'm working. Okay. Hello, Yvonne. Thank you. So I was playing around earlier with this technique that I've done before, but I wanted to do her tail, like, like I wanted to paint it all black and then make my own scales, but I just couldn't figure it out. <laughs> kind of cool, but not what I wanted. Kind of cool, but not what I wanted. So you guys see my... Oh, you want to know about the rock? <laughs> I do have a couple tutorials on how to do those. <laughs> Thanks, Jen. Yes, please thumbs up and hit subscribe. Tell your friends. Oh, my goodness. And, guys, if you haven't, I have a business page on um, Facebook, The Foiling Rock Lady. If you could, head over there and follow me, too. Trying to make it easier for people to find me everywhere. Who knew? I'm new at this whole media. I know I say I'm new at it. Literally, this is my... We just curved in on the first full year of the business <laughs> side of things. So I'm still learning how to be a creator and a social media presence. And apparently an influencer. Thank you, Amazon. <laughs> that, was, that was a very cool recognition. So, All right. I'm using Verano. Nail foil glue. This, uh, I don't think they sell it separately. So it comes with some nail foils, I believe, and a little. <laughs> I don't know where it's at. <laughs> but it's, a, I believe, a silicone tipped nail tool or a brush. Not positive, but I do believe it's this. Not 100% positive on that. You can't quote me. <laughs> what I'm missing is the tray. And these are out of stock, but they will be back in probably tomorrow or the following day. The trays. Super cool. I have a little thing here to hold your brushes. But way better to work out of the tray than to use the brush here. I'm going to fill two little wells because I think I'm going to need more than that. Right. I'm going to start here. Let me try. Actually, I'm going to do a different foil down here on the tail, too. <laughs> and go changing it up.
Sorry, I'll check up there in just a second and see what you guys are talking about. All right. Oops. Yeah, get it in the tray. <laughs> Make sure you torch the bubbles. It helps tremendously. And have your flashlight ready. Jeez, Wanda. And do not cure your glue in the dish. Don't put your light like right on top of your project because you will probably wrinkle or buckle your glue. So cool. You can see the shimmer in there now. See the shimmer? <laughs> okay, I'm going to get a piece of the Starburst nail foil for the tail. This is Starburst. All of these come in our, our set. It's... um. Transparent holographic faceted set. I believe it's eight strips for seven dollars or something like that. It's quite a deal. It's my basic foil set that I recommend to every single foiler out there because you can use it everywhere all the time. And these are the foil burnishing or ink blending brushes. in my Etsy and they may be sold out in the colors but I still have them in the they're available in the black candle I think there's some colors still left okay see there's bubbles under there I don't know if you can see those bubbles so how you deal with that is you lift slow Lay back down, burnish, lift slow, lay back down and burnish. Nice. See the nice transfer there? That's what you're looking for. <laughs> Rockin' Dot KK, <laughs> my Katie. Yep, we do Friday nights on Facebook live from our group, Creative Rock Art and Foil Techniques. And we are changing a bit around. We're moving Wednesday night. We're not moving Wednesday nights, but we're changing Wednesday nights to, um, it's going to be a challenge night. So it will not be alive any longer, but it will be a paint night. So you guys will be assigned, if you choose to participate, a, you know, you'll have um, I think stickers are what we're going to do. Sticker challenges, right, Katie? Anyways, we'll sign you a sticker, and then you choose to paint it. You can enter into the drawing. So that'll be additional once a week. And so Monday nights here, Friday nights over there, and then our Wednesday night sticker challenge. And that will start Wednesday. And I think we have this Wednesday's sticker picked out. And 
and I ran out of glue. That's okay. Don't be me. I'm just, I know. I said don't do it and I'm going to do it anyways. The reason you don't want to do this is because A, you could get too much glue on your project and you can contaminate your bottle of glue. And nobody wants that, right? Okay. And make sure to torch out those bubbles. See that shimmer in there? So if you didn't use foil, that shimmer would pop when you did your sealer coat or your resin. If you go glossy. If not, it'll be muted by the mat. All right, we're going to cure this. Hey, good question. What do we do with fairy jars? I keep watching and looking for ideas. I haven't settled on how I want to do my fairy jar. We are doing them, I promise. But I haven't settled on a theme. You know what, Katie? We're going to we're going to make it tomorrow. Tomorrow we're planning it. Okay, we're going to figure it out and we'll let you guys know. All right, and this I want to use that the uh, discs, holographic discs, and I'm going to use it in two pieces. I don't usually like to overlap like that, but she has quite a bend there. Don't do that if it's a pattern, because it will show. Just make sure when you lift up, you are checking to make sure you have a good transfer. Good. Look at that. Pretty, pretty, pretty. You guys think neato, right? Don't you just love foil? It just fixes everything, right? It's kind of like ice cream. Who doesn't smile when they're eating ice cream? Who doesn't smile when they're using foil? Okay, yeah, foil can be frustrating, but <laughs> who doesn't want to smile when you're using foil, right? <laughs> Remember what I said, don't be me, don't do this. I'm just grabbing this larger area here.
she's all going to be holographic, head to toe. So she's what, part vampire, I guess. <laughs> And I'm going to go ahead and fill in the moon with the other foil, but I'm going to go ahead and do the glue now. It's the Foiling Rock Lady on Etsy. Sorry, I, you know, I don't think I put that link in there. I put my um, Amazon store in there. Forgot to put my Etsy. I'm sorry. See, I'm terrible with the social media thing. But Foiling Rock, the Foiling Rock Lady. You can even put that in Google and it'll bring up everything. My Etsy, my YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Did you find it? Let me see if I can. That one is just the plain. Thanks. Well, the store link is brand new. Just got it yesterday, so the other links probably were my associates' links, which is beautiful. Thank you for using those. But now we have a storefront, so you can go to one place every time. Um, and if it's something that I um, recommend or have tried, it's in the store. I didn't want to do the moon that one, but I guess we're doing the moon that one. <laughs> Let me get the one I wanted in the moon. And we'll finish it with this one. Okay. Nice. I gotta turn off the flash, it's too much. Okay, disable flash. Ooh, there we go, okay. So you can see just a bit of the holographicness now to her. So in her hair, what should we do? Let's do some paint. Yes, yes, yes. Or glitter, ooh, let's do some glitter paint. Some Wanda glitter paint. I know, right? <laughs> these I've made these into glitter and these were in the mermaid. Uh well, the purple one was in this it, it didn't come like this. It came <laughs> This is just my tester palette. Um Mermaid Treasures came in, yeah. This was the one. These two glitters came with these six colors for the mermaid masquerade. And then this one was part of the Ocean Treasures. So I'm going to use this one and this one. And maybe some of this in her hair. So we'll do some fun paint. Get that flashback on there. So now we need to activate the watercolor. Activate that color. I think just that one. Maybe that one. And give these a stir. Pff, 
prototype paint. These are always fun to use because they're like yummy liquidy. <laughs> and you can make your paint that way if you add a few drops of water to it, let it sit for about five minutes, stir it up with your brush gently or you'll ruin your brush. Um, and then just leave it to let it dry between uses. But that's how we do the glitter. So when you use the glitter, you want to make it soupy to use it correctly. Watercolor glitter has no pigment. It's just glitter in binder. So if you want to, when you have it in your pan, let me get one. <clears throat> These are those three colors that I'm playing with right now. And these are dried in the pan. <laughs> They're so sparkly, the camera doesn't even want to pick them up. Okay, so this is the gold hollow. This is the chunkier, clear hollow. And then this is that gorgeous purple hollow. Anyway, so you would drip water on these and let them get soupy. And then you can use them the same way I'm going to use them right now. Um, Phyllis, that's kind of up to you. Um, I don't think it's necessary unless you're going to like, if you're going to paint it all on top, yes, you need to spray. Otherwise, it'll just move your paint around. Yep, yeah, but I'm going to use this kind of like a liner, sort of, and do like almost tinsel hair streaks in her hair. tail brush Just give a nice highlight. Let's see.
Let's give some highlights, low lights. Why not? Give her some, some fun, fun here, right? I know, fun, right? Hair tinsel. You guys got me all inspired. Hair tinsel. If you spray Phyllis, sometimes your watercolor will be aquaphobic so it won't want to paint on top of the spray. So if you're going to spray, you need to use your watercolors thick because then the binder will kick in and adhere to the um, spray. All right, let's get some of this gold in here. Thank you. Oh, you guys, this is so cool. I just love this gold so much. So pretty. When is tense too much tinsel? <laughs> oh, let's just do all glitter hair. Just kidding. <laughs> I think I'll put some of the gold here around the moon. And you know what? We will give her a little brassiere.
And I'm going to flank these fins too. Have they come out with body glitter for tattoos yet? Like, can you get glitter in tattoos? I know you can do glow in the dark now. You can do neon. You can do watercolor tattoos. And you can even do scannable recorded voice tattoos. I know, right? You can scan your loved one's heartbeat or whatever and then have it tattooed on you like a, you know, like a, a heartbeat anyways and when they scan it it would it has a recording of your whatever you choose to put in there but isn't that cool So as you can see, you can paint right on top of foil. No problem. Bring it in here so you could see. Then it has to be dried and sprayed and then sealed and it will look fabulous I'm pretty sure pretty sure I want to spread some of this out here just around there's never too much glitter I don't care Right. <laughs> I love it. Yes, all the glitter. Just dump it, right? with the flash off you can see around the edge of the tattoo so we used watercolor but you know if you wanted to do your background first and then put your tattoo down you could do that but then you'd have to use probably acrylic to uh, do the color to cover any background you know what I mean but that the shiny bit of the edge will disappear uh, with the top coat or whatever you choose to seal yours with so don't forget to sign your work I keep forgetting to sign my work <laughs> I 
All right, I've signed, I've glittered, I've foiled, and I've painted, and I even drew. <laughs> ay, 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 crazy. I did not reline though, so I gotta touch up. And let's see how much of this we can mess up here. another way you can make it look more painterly like it was you know painted I mean you never really want to deceive people but if you are going for that look it's always best to tell people you know the truth if they want to know is it a tattoo how did you do that at least on my group we like for you to be honest Leave those little fingers alone because I'll mess those up for sure. <laughs> Good night, Ann. You're welcome. I promise I'm quitting here soon. I just realized I didn't line. I'm not doing all the hairs, but just the chunks. Good night. Night, Allison. Thank you guys so much. Okay. Old school tattoo. 
<laughs> so thanks guys for hanging out and watching me wreck it and fix it and wreck it again. And thank you so much for always being so super kind with the comments and supporting the group, the store, the shop, and each other. And thank you for taking care of each other in the comments. Thank you, Lori, Jen, and Katie for moderating tonight. And I will see you guys back in the group, specifically Friday. And then we're going to post a Wednesday, uh, the, com not competition, but <laughs> sticker challenge on Wednesday. So you guys have something to do until Friday. All right. Take care, everyone. Thank you so much. Don't forget to go check out the new Amazon storefront. That link is in the uh, description below. Take care. Good night.